guys, today I have an exciting new project to share with you guys. I have been planning what I want to pan for this project since before the end of the year. Like, I want to say like November or December, like it has been a minute. And once I decided I wanted to work on something for this project, I started collecting items in this ginormous box and we're gonna just dig into it today. This is the 50 Shades of Green project pan. Um, this was created by Jessica Lee, Amanda, and Cece, and this is a Fantastic Ladies collab uh, project pan. This starts today. Hopefully I'm getting up on the right date. April 15th, 2022, and it is a year-long project pan. It will end the same day next year. So we have an entire year to work on all of this stuff. Now, how this works, it can be any beauty, makeup, skincare, hair care, any kind of thing um, that ha corresponds with the color green. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It can be green product, green packaging, green in the name, green whatever you want it to be, just something green. You guys have probably been following along with Fifty Shades of Purple this year, and I feel like they did a color before, the year before too, but I don't remember exactly what color. I feel like it was pink maybe. Um, but anyway, I have all 50 products here in this box. We're gonna go through all 50 products today. And then I think, oh, here's Nugget to say hi. Hey, Nuggy, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> um, so we have all 50 products here today. I'm gonna share them all with you today. And then I think going forward, um, I will probably do monthly updates, but I'll probably just share items that I've been working on. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Are you ready to get started? Do you want to sit on my lap or do you want to get down? Okay, you can sit here. Okay, so I have everything listed out on my little uh, notebook here. So I am just going to go in order of how I wrote them on here. No particular order. I just kind of wrote them down. I grabbed out of the box and wrote them down. So let's get started. Um, first, we have my Equate gentle lotion um this is old um it says it expired in 2018 hmm. but i bought this in literally in 2019 so i probably should have looked at that before i bought it but anyway i used this as a face moisturizer in college but i don't really want to put this on my face since it is kind of old so i'm going to use this as a body moisturizer and I do have a line on here, but it settled a little bit even higher. But that is about where we are starting right here. And yeah, I'm going to be using this just as a body lotion. I'm going to try, I need to try to go through this a lot quicker than I usually do because I usually ramble like I am right now. Okay, another lotion. This is the Beautiful Day lotion from Bath and Body Works. And again, everything settled a lot higher than when I originally marked them, but it's okay. So it is basically full at the top. We're just gonna keep the same marks there, but another lotion. And I never wear lotion. So <laughs> the lotion is going to be the hard part in this project because you guys, I put a lot in here. <laughs> okay, next I have the Simple Micellar Water Makeup Remover. This should be easy. I do actually need to go buy some more cotton rounds though. Um, because I'm basically out. I have just a handful left, but we are right at the top. This one is brand new. I really like that stuff though. So that won't be an issue to get through. That one will be relatively easy. And then I did put in quite a bit of minis in here. That way I can get through some stuff because some stuff's going to linger. Some stuff's going to be really quick, but I put in this little mini guy. This is the Bath and Body Works Coconut Lime Verbena little body lotion and well I marked it way up at the top but looking at it right now through the sunlight I think it's only down to here so um okay I guess I probably should have put something a little bit better in this project but I thought this was full but yeah definitely looking through the sunlight it is right here so 
I am going to remark that right now and we'll have this guy done by next update. I better. Um, yeah, okay, so we're way down to there. Yeah, okay, so that one will be a focus product and I should definitely have that one used up. That's like two uses. If I don't, somebody slap, come slap me or something. Like that's an issue if they don't. Okay, next I have my Batiste dry shampoo. As you can tell, most stuff that I went with was green packaging. If you couldn't tell with this, the writing is green. Um, but yeah, most of my stuff in here is green packaging. So Batiste dry shampoo in the tropical scent and yeah, dry shampoo, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, and then I have a face moisturizer. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypep Polypeptide Cream. This is a moisturizer, and as you can tell, the green lid. It's a little bit like teal, like blue-greenish, but I'm counting it. Um, so this is a face moisturizer. We will work on that guy. And I feel like I did use this maybe once or twice, but that's about it. So it is basically full. Okay, then we have another baby lotion. This is the Zenith Peaceful Sandalwood Lotion. Another little hotel guy. Um, but this one I believe is full to the top. So this one I should hopefully have out by next time too. I'll try to work on both of these little samples. I still have one in my beauty project pan as well that has some left. So I need to work on that one as well. Next we have a, I would call this a makeup category, I guess. I'm gonna leave it in my desk. This is the Milk Kush Lip Balm and this one is green oh my gosh this is the first product where the product is actually green okay but now i'm looking over here and the lotion is green but this one is cooler so yeah this is just a it goes on clear it's just a lip balm um but i would like to use this guy up and i'll probably just have it in my desk here so that's what i'm gonna do put it right in my desk right here and i do have it marked on a paper over here so we can track how much we are able to use up. Next we have a face mask. This is from Elemis. I really love to like this brand. Did that make sense? I really, no, that did not make sense. <laughs> I've really learned that I love this brand. There we go. This is the, um, Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. So face mask is basically full to the top. I have a little silver line there. And this one is, you wash it off after about 10 minutes. So I have so many masks and I need to actually make myself use them. So that is the goal with this guy. Next, we have a new nighttime lip balm. This is my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Apple Lime. I love this stuff. This one is the full size. I've used up a mini one before. And here's what it looks like. So there's, I've used it a little bit. It's not brand new, but I haven't used it a ton. This I think is going to take me a while. Um, but also I really like this, so I don't think I'll have a problem with it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Like, I will repurchase that once I use it up. Maybe in another scent, but I will definitely be repurchasing that. If you are interested in these, always check TJ Maxx and Marshalls because I always find them there. Okay, we have another face mask. This is the Pharmacy Bright On Vitamin C Mask. And this is what this one looks like. They were both from BoxyCharm, both of my face masks. And... This is a vitamin C clay mask and it helps brighten your skin. And we are right at the top here. Oh, actually, um, clearly I didn't measure these while looking through a window because we are right here. Um, yeah, so I will remark this one. Oh boy. Okay, so we are actually right there. <laughs> hmm. 
Um, but okay, that's good. I don't think I've ever used this, so I don't know why it would be that low, but um, anyway, I have another face mask to work on. Number 12, this is the 12th product. This is the La Bella Provincia Aromatherapy Body Butter, and it is the Citrus Tea Tree Scent. This is brand new. It's not very big, but the wrapper is still on it and everything but this shouldn't take me very long. I've used up the, um, I think it's the body shop ones that are like this size and they go pretty quickly. Um, so this shouldn't take me very long. Okay. And then I have this, this is the Zensis Peaksful Sandalwood Shampoo. So this was, must be the same hotel trip as the lotion, but I use hotel shampoos um, to wash my makeup brushes. So that is what I will do with this guy. Um, I find they work really good actually to wash your makeup brushes. So whenever I have them, that's just how I use them up. And then we have another skincare product. I didn't organize this in order. I just kind of, um, I guess randomly threw them on here. I should have organized them, but whatever. This is the Dr. Brit Recovery Sleeping Mask. So this is a nighttime mask, which basically is just like a moisturizer, right? So you just wear this. Um, it says, apply mask to clean dry skin before bedtime. Do not rinse, use nightly. It's a moisturizer, right? But it's supposed to be super hydrating, um, which is why they call it a mask. So um, I have another face moisturizer. Next, we have a perfume. This is the DKNY Be Delicious Perfume. I'm not gonna mark this because that is just gonna be a hassle. So, it is basically full, if you guys can see that. Um, have I mentioned that my goal is to finish everything that's in here? Besides, um, when we get to the makeup, those ones might have different goals, but everything else is to finish. So, if I didn't say that, I'm saying it now. Next, we have from Human and Kind. This is a moisturizing hand scrub. I'm just gonna use it all over my body. So, a body scrub, basically and this is brand new i have a line right at the top but this is brand new so i'll put this in the shower and we will start working on this guy i have a few body scrubs so so i don't know which one i'm gonna pick but whatever you know what i mean okay next we have a leave-in conditioner this is the outre i don't know how to pronounce that um eight in one cbd um leave-in conditioner spray so there are is where we are starting I think I've used this like once um but yeah this will be my new like leave-in detangler spray I'm running out of space over here okay and then we have another kind of cool one this is actually a candle this is the how about missile nope candle um, from Candier, I believe is how you say it. Um, but anyway, this is just a little tiny candle. It is obviously green and we're going to finish this guy. It smells like chocolate. You would think this smells like a Christmas tree because of the name, but it smells like chocolate. So I'm okay with burning this one in the summer or spring, whatever we're in right now. A bunch of sheet masks, I think, that are up next. So let me grab those. First, we have this one. This is the Pure Lease Matcha Green Tea Sheet Mask. So these are just one-time users. They will obviously go quickly, one-time use. <laughs> and then I have the Tony Moly Lemon Sheet Mask. We have green right here in the leaf. <laughs> Reaching a little bit on that one. And then this counts for 21, 22, and 23 because there are three of them. And these are the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. They are just like little eye mask, under eye masks, um, eye gel, whatever you want to call them. But there are three packets of them, so that counts for three items. And then we have this little bath bomb. Um, this, I just wrote green bath bomb. It's, I believe from Shop Miss A. There's no packaging on it or anything, but I cannot like take baths here. My 
Water does not stay hot long enough to fill my entire bathtub, which is like really annoying. So what I'll probably do is break off a few chunks of this and use it kind of as a shower steamer. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, so this will actually be a few uses. I think that's how I'm gonna use it. All right, next we have this little packet of, it's the Rose Sachet uh, Bath Salts. This came with like my cupping set that I bought for work. Um, and there's green in the little star right here and the little mushroom guy. So it works. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put these at the bottom of my shower one time and use it like that. Uh, yeah, there's that guy. That one might be cheating, but it's fine. Like I said before, I have some easy stuff and some hard stuff in here. Next, I have this guy. This I got for Christmas and I kind of set it aside for um, this project. And there's green, obviously, all over the box. This is the Spun Gel um, Body Wash Infused Buffer. And you get, you're supposed to get like 15, at least 15 uses out of this. Um, this is what it looks like. It's like a little loofah that already has soap, soap inside of it. So I'm gonna put this in my shower. It smells really good. Oh, like real good. This is the Aurora Isle scent. Um, my mom got this for me and she used hers and she was obsessed. So she actually bought like a whole bunch more from FabFitFun. Um, if you are like interested in something like this, FabFitFun, if you remember, has these on there all the time for like $7, I think. But this smells really good. I'm probably gonna put this right in my shower. Wow, that smells good. I don't think I've smelt it before. Woo, I like that one. Okay, next we have all of these. This is one, two, three, four, five products, but we're just gonna kind of breeze over them. These are all of my little minis. I got these for Christmas of the Mario Badesco Skin Spray. Now I use these all the time. I use these as like toner sprays. I use these as setting sprays. I use these like throughout the day when I wanna refresh. I love this stuff and I have a full size in here still, but I will always repurchase this um, in any of the scents. I like all of them. Um, I really like the purple one, the lavender one to spray on bug bites actually, which is like so weird, but it's nice. <laughs> I like it. But anyway, I have this little mini one. These will go quickly. Um, this is the <sighs> aloe cucumber and green tea. We have aloe, sage, and orange blossom. These are all brand new. Um, aloe, herbs, and rose water. I have that one in the full size. I've gone through like five of those full size of the, that one. This one is aloe, chamomile, and lavender. This one I'll probably save for my bug bites. Football season is approaching. And we have aloe adaptogens in coconut water. This is their new one. Um, so we will try that guy. And I'm excited to have those out to use. I love that stuff and I haven't used it in a while. Number 32 on our list. I know I'm not saying all the numbers, so sorry about that. But um, let's see. Uh, anyway, 32 and 33, they are both nail polishes. These are gonna be hard. There's not much left in here actually, but I feel like it's going to take me a long time. This is Color Club um, Blue Ming. And I have used the crap out of this one. This was like my favorite in high school. So it is literally like at the bottom. Um, I think I'm going to wear this on my toes like all summer long. And I'm excited. I love this color. I'll probably put that on like here soon. And then um, I have this one. This one is... The color name is pulled off, but it's like a darker teal. I think this one's really pretty as well. So I want to completely finish both of those guys. They're pretty old in my collection. I think I got them in high school when I was going through my nail polish phase. I was obsessed with nail polish. I did designs. I have like, let's see. I think I have them all numbered. This one is number two, 238. This one was number 50. So you know this one's old. Uh, yeah. 
I have a lot of nail polish. Most of it is at my my, my parents' house at home. Okay. Oh, Nug is being super cute, even though she's just trying to steal my makeup sponges over here. Oh, right. We are getting into the makeup. So, are you joining us up here? <laughs> there she is. Okay, there's a lot of stuff up here, so don't knock it over. All right. She is getting so big. Look how big she is. I know. We'll play when I'm done with this. All right, makeup. Where are we? We're almost done. Not really, but this is number 34. I am going to put in the AOA Studio Aqua Hydrating Face Primer. And I've used this a little bit. I have it right here. Um, you wanna get down? So I have it marked right here. I think this should go pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, this I'll be panning two face primers and they're literally like the same. But yeah, this is okay. It's not a favorite. I wouldn't repurchase this. But I would like to finish this primer. Make up your mind. Do you want to be up here or no? Next, I have a lip gloss. This is green. Craziness, right? So this is from the Bite Beauty Lip Gloss Watercolor Set, and this is shade number five. It's literally green. The product is green, it's not the packaging. I used up a red one of these in the past, and it actually went pretty quickly when I started focusing on it, so I think this one should go relatively quickly. Um, however, I don't think I'll be wearing this like every single day. I think it's gonna be basically clear or like just milky. Let's put it on and see. Oh gosh, it's green. <laughs> okay, but then it like blends out basically to just like a really light color. So basically it's gonna be clear, I think, if you layer it with other stuff. You can't tell I have green lip gloss on right now, but I would like to finish this guy and I have it marked right at the top there. Um, I'm just gonna put that in my drawer. These I need to use up because literally like Look how sticky that is, it's so gross. Next, we have an eyeliner. This was in my project pan last year. This is the Marc Jacobs Eyeliner in Introvert, and this is more of a teal blue, but I'm counting it as a green. And it's pretty dry, but I think I can still get it to work. So there it is right there, really pretty color. And I want to finish this guy. It'll probably be lower lash line until I finish it or it completely dries out and goes bad. Nugget wants attention right now, clearly. Okay. Nugs. Oh, geez. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next, we have a concealer and I just have it in this magnetic palette. This is a green color correcting concealer. It's really small. I used up a purple one of these and it went relatively quickly. I think the green will go quicker than the purple because green I put on my cheeks when I'm using a color corrector and like around my mouth with acne scars and redness. And I think I can get through this relatively quickly. And that's just from a random concealer palette, so. I would like to finish that guy. And then I have another green concealer. This is number 38. This is the Starry Creamy Concealer Palette and there are five colors in here, but I just want to completely finish the green in here. I'm gonna work on the other one first, I think, and then go to this one, but I would like to finish this one as well. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of color correcting this year, hopefully and hopefully we can finish those off. Okay, I do have some more makeup, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Next, I have this Dr. Brandt um, Dark Spot Serum, and I don't know where to mark this, but I've been using this for a long time now, and I, I would say it's like probably halfway gone. So I would like to finish this off. It'll just be done when it's done, 
but yeah, it feels like it's like probably halfway. I don't know, but yeah, we're gonna finish that guy. And then another product that I've been using, this is my Macadamia Deep Repair Hair Mask. I have used so many of these in the past. I get these from TJ Maxx now. Okay, but this is what it looks like. It's probably kind of gross. It's like halfway gone. And I want to completely finish this guy. I have a backup already. I don't think they make this anymore. I don't think they make that anymore, but I love that stuff. My hair loves it and I've been using it for years. Not that specific one. I have gone through so many of those. I In high school, I used to buy like the big tubs, like this big from Holt Look when that was a thing. Um, and I would spend like 50 bucks on it from Holt Look and it was like originally $200 for that big thing. I love that stuff. Okay, next, what do we have next? Number 41, we're getting closer. This is my Tony Moly Cream Foam Cleanser. This is the Happy Sweet Holiday one. I've used quite a bit of this and this is getting pretty old. Um, I think it was supposed to expire in 2016, but I've been using this. <laughs> I had this in my shower until I decided to do this project. Then I took it out because I knew I wanted to put it in this project. So we are right there and we are going to finish this guy. I have another like one or two time uses. This is a shower steamer from Shop Miss A and it is the eucalyptus scent. So it's like a green shower steamer. You just put it at the bottom of your shower and it releases the eucalyptus scent. Um, I'll probably break it in half. That way I can use it a couple times. I've used um, one of those before and they're pretty nice. Nothing special. Okay, but then number 43 and 44 are, we're back to makeup. We have two setting sprays. I love this stuff. Um, I bought this on BoxyCharm and I've used one of these up before and it went relatively quickly. This is the In Beauty Project Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. So I'm going to crack one of these open and start working on this tomorrow. Um, but they are both full, brand new. They're still sealed. And yeah, we're going to finish both of these this year. Um, I'm going to start on one of them right now, but then I don't know if I'm going to take a break or just kind of finish them both off right in a row. I don't know exactly, but I have both of those setting sprays I want to finish. Okay, number 45 is this. This is the Dandelion Blush from Benefit. This is just a mini one. It's actually considered, this is what they call it, baby pink brightening face powder. But it's definitely like a blush. I've used this before. <sighs> With this, I think I just want to hit pan on it. If, po if that's even possible. But that is going to be my goal, I think. Hit pan on it and then we'll just kind of see if I can finish it. That would be amazing. But I doubt that. So my goal is going to be to hit pan on this. Okay, number 46, very similar. We have from The Bomb. This is the Bahama Mamba Bronzer. And there's like green on the packaging, so it's fine. <laughs> this is what this looks like. There is a really good dip in there. My goal for this one is to hit pan. And then, again, we'll just kind of see if I can finish it. Cool. If not, I just want to hit pan. I really like this bronzer. Um, and it's a good one for summer, so... I don't really want to finish it. I like it, but I do want to hit pan on this one. Next, we have a tinted lip balm. This is the CoverGirl Smoochies in Love You. And I have some pretty good use on this one already. But I do have this marked on the paper. That is where we are at. And yeah, nice tinted lip balm. I really like this color. So we are going to try to finish this one. All oh, right, that is everything for makeup. I have three products left to show you. And then that will be everything. So number 48 is from Lush. Please don't come up here, Nugget, and knock everything over. Nugs, get down. Get down. Nope. Oh, nope, no, no. Get down. <sighs> okay, number 48 is from Lush, and this is a body bar. Clearly there's green flowers in there. 
I bought this in college and I used this as room decor because I thought I was super cool. And it was like, I'm not going to take it out, but this is a body scrub. I think I'm going to put this one in my shower first to use this up, but, um, it was rainbow or no, not really rainbow. It was like pink, blue, and like light, it was like light pink, pink, blue, um, and then the green flowers. There was like a lot more going on, but this is what it looks like because it completely faded because I literally had it displayed on my desk like this and it made our room smell good and it looked pretty. Um, and yeah, but I'm going to use this guy up now. It is definitely time. And actually two more body scrubs, right? Where's my other? Where'd my other one go? Did Nugget just take it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so another body scrub. I have the Body Shop um, in Mango. This is brand new. Here's what it looks like. Brand new. This smells really good. And then we have another body scrub. This is the Body Shop Satuma. Satsuma. Um, energizing Body Polish. So... A little bit less exfoliating probably than this one but definitely still a body scrub and this is number 50 and that is going to do it so that is all 50 products quickly should I mention what I kind of I know that I want to start with as I put them away I know I'm going to put this in my shower and start working on that um all of the makeup is just going to go in my desk and I will use it here and there um, this is going to go in my shower. I'm going to start working on the setting spray. Um, I'm probably going to just work on a all, like all of it kind of at a time, but like body scrubs, I'll do one at a time. Body lotion, I'll do one at a time. Everything else I'll probably just kind of start working on. But anyway, I will be back doing an update in one month and we will talk about what I was able to maybe finish, what I used, and then we'll go from there. I probably won't talk about stuff if I didn't use it. Um, you can come back to this video as a reference for everything that I have in this project, but that is going to be everything for today. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you're excited for this project as much as I am. And yeah, I can't wait to watch everybody else's project and get to play along with everybody this year. I'm super excited. So um, I hope you guys like this video and like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.